In this video, we are going to look how you can both install and use Zotero to correctly and formally cite your references in Microsoft Word 2016 and Apple. Here is a complete guide about everything you need to know. If you find this content useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Zotero is a completely free and open source software. Without further to do, let's get started. To download the software, go to the Zotero official website. I will also put the link in the description below. Find it and click on it. You will then come to this page. Click then this download button and it will bring you to this page to download it for your machine automatically bolts the appropriate software to your machine. For other platforms like Mac OS, Linux or 64 or 32-bit, you can click those alternatives. Since I have a Windows machine, click this download button simply and it automatically starts downloading. After downloading the software, install it to your machine by right-clicking and running it as an administrator. Then follow the prompts to successfully install it to your machine. Wait until it finishes installing. Finally, hit finish. After successfully installing the Zotero standalone software, it will automatically prompt you to install the appropriate Zotero connector to your browser. Zotero has the connector for almost all major browsers. Since I am using the Chrome as my default browser, it asks me to install the Zotero Chrome connector. Make sure that you are connected to the internet. Now click the install button below, then click add to Chrome, then add extension, then the Zotero Chrome extension is successfully added to your Chrome browser. You can see it by expanding this and pin this one. This is the Zotero Chrome connect. Now we set up everything we need to cite our references in Microsoft Word. The next is how to use it correctly in Microsoft Word. Okay guys, when you open Zotero for the first time, it looks like this. Here in the left side, there is the My Library tab and inside it there are submenus. The My Publications submenu in which you can create your own works to share it on your profile and the duplicate items submenu in which you can find the duplicated items or reference in your Zotero library. Here's an unfilled item and the, the trash item in which you can find also the deleted reference lists. Here is the middle or the main window of Zotero where all your references are listed. Now in the last at the right window will show you all the information for any specific reference in your Zotero library. The next task is how to populate or import our references to the Zotero library. Here in the Zotero interface, just at the top, click the folder icon to create your folder or new collection. Give it a name like this and press OK. Here it is. Now click the folder for your collection. The first method of populating or importing references to your Zotero library is dragging and dropping your references in your computer. For example, if you have a PDF file of your reference in your computer, you can drag and drop it to your Zotero library. While clicking your collection, drag your reference or PDF file to your Zotero interface like this and drop it here. Now, if this PDF has well-organized fields or metadata, Zotero will capture it. But if there are missed fields, you can edit it manually. All the fields are editable. The second option of importing references to Zotero library is importing references while you are in the web. For example, search your reference using your browser which you have installed your Zotero connector and you found it like this. 
Now at the top, click your Zotero connector icon. And here it shows the Zotero collection of folders available. I have only one collection, my Reef, but if there are other collections, click it to expand and see all the collections inside your Zotero library. So I select it and then press done. Now it will automatically import the reference to your Zotero library. In this way, you can directly import all reference lists from the web. The third option is importing references using their citation file. Most of our references has citation files attached to it. So we can use this citation file to import it to Zotero. For example, this is my reference I want to include to my references list. And scrolling down, you can get the citation files like the pipe text file, the endnote file, and the riffman file. So download one of them by clicking it, then import items from books.google.com into Zotero. It says so. Click OK here, then choose the folder to which you want to populate or import it. I have only one collection here, my riff, so I'll press then. I'll go to your Zotero main interface and here it is. It is being listed as one of my references. And by clicking it you can see all the metadata here at the right. The item type is book, the title is here, the author is here, all the fields are automatically filled. On the other hand, you may also have this citation file in your computer. To import this citation file to the Zotero main interface, open the Zotero, then press Click the file menu, then click import, then it has two options here, file or the Mendeley reference. If it is a Mendeley type or Riffman, you can select the Mendeley reference manager, but it is automatically selected, leave it as default, then click next. Then browse the citation file from your computer, here it is the pipe text file, I want to import the pipe text file, then selecting it, then click Open. Now it shows two options here, copy the files to the Zotero storage folder or link the files in original location. So leave the default, the first one, copy the files to the Zotero storage folder, then click next, then click finish. In this way you can also import your references to the Zotero. The fourth option is inserting or importing references manually yourself or by using the identifiers like the DOI of the ISBN etc. To add references manually, select the collection you want to populate your reference, then click the plus icon here, new item. Then select the type of reference you want to include. For example, if it is book, select the book. If it is a book chapter, select the book section. If it is a journal, select the journal. For example, I have a journal of title, this one, copy the title. Go to the Zotero interface, then select the journal article, then paste the title here. And fill all the fields by yourself, cross-checking your paper or journal. But this is very time-consuming process. So the simplest and the fastest way is importing references by using their identifier. And this is usually the recommended way of importing references to Zotero. For example, this journal has a DOI of, copy this DOI, and here click the add item by identifier. Now paste the DOI here and press enter. Now it's searching for this DOI from the database. Here it is now. When it finishes importing, if your journal or your reference is open access, it automatically downloads the PDF to Dotero. For example, if you expand this, you can get the full text downloaded here. Now, if you have references listed down somewhere outside of your collection, you can move it to your folder or collection by simply dragging and dropping it to your folder. For example, if I want this reference to be in my collection, drag and drop it here in my reef. Then it will be moved there. If you want the collections removed from the Zotero library, you can right click and delete collection. To check if you have duplicate items or references in your collection, press the duplicate items menu here. Here, there are four duplicate items. 
So click one of them. At the right, you can see that they all listed down. So choose one of them that has full metadata or full information about your reference. Then press merge items again. Now it will be removed. So here, when you again press a duplicate item, there is no duplicate items here. Next, I will show you how to cite your references in your Microsoft Word document using Zotero. When you install the Zotero software, the Zotero plugin will be added to your Microsoft Word. And here you will find the Zotero tab in the main menus of Microsoft Word. If you don't find the Zotero tab here, open your Zotero app and go to Edit, then Preference, then Word Processors, and reinstall Microsoft Word add-in. After that, restart your Microsoft Word so it will be fixed and your Zotero tab will be shown here. Now open your Microsoft Word document where you want to insert your citations. Place the cursor where you want to put your citations. Click Zotero tab. Then click Add or Edit Citation. When you are coming here to the first time, it gives you the option to select the citation style. If you want to the APA style, you can select the APA style here. Or if you want the IEEE style, you can select the IEEE style here. Then press OK. Now search for your reference using the author's name or the tags. I'm searching by using the author's name. CHO. As you start writing the author's initial, it gives you a list of references within the given author. So select the appropriate one and press enter. Then you get the desired one. Then press enter. It puts your citation where you want it to be. Next, repeat this step for all your references. You can even insert multiple citations. When you finish inserting all the citations, the next step is generating the reference lists at the end of your document. Put your cursor to the place where you want the reference to be generated. Go to Zotero, then click Add or Edit by Bibliography. So you can see here, it generates your reference lists. In this way, you can insert your citations easily and quietly to your Microsoft document by using the Zotero reference management software.